this bedroom is kind of like a time capsule because it really hasn't been touched ever. Like it's, it has not been changed in any way since I was a kid. And there is some weird shit in here. Like there's just some weird shit in here. And every time I come home, like I find new stuff every single time. I can go on like a treasure hunt in here and I'll always find something new and something weird and something I didn't find the last time. The only thing that's different about it is that my dad decided to put all of his musical equipment in my room and so now it kind of looks like a recording studio mixed with my childhood bedroom, but it's still my childhood bedroom. Kindergarten? Oh my god, that was me in kindergarten. The haircut was kind of good. Like, I would get that haircut again. Kind of makes me want to get that haircut now. You know, like, if it worked for her then, why wouldn't it work for, for me now? It's the same me, you know? Holy shit. These books were so good. I would literally buy one of these from a bookstore and read the whole thing in like two days, and they were so good. I think I'm gonna read this again. Like, hopefully I'm not too old to read it. You know when you like, go back and you look at something again, that you used to love when you were a kid and it's just like not the same now that you're older like that might happen with this book but I'm gonna give it a try I might read it later oh, I remember getting these with my mom for back to school and so my mom and I went to go get me you know new shoes for the school year and I remember I picked these out and I remember I got home and I forced my mom to let me put them on and I just ran around the house for like two hours in these and I thought that they were the sickest fucking shoes I'd ever seen in my life. Unfortunately, they are hideous. I had no idea. I mean, again, I was seven. So like, although if Balenciaga came out with shoes that looked just like this, everybody would buy them. So what does that say about society, you know? <gasps> This has milk stains all over it. Those are milk stains. I remember I used to wear this every morning and then I would watch Napoleon Dynamite on the TV and eat my breakfast. And my breakfast was usually some sort of cereal with milk. And this thing has fucking milk all over it still. Okay, thank God. Why did I smell it? I was obsessed with the idea of remote control powered toys as a kid. Like I thought that was the most genius concept and the most exciting concept of all time. It really never even knew how, it couldn't even fly. These remote control toys for kids never actually work and it's so, such a heartbreaking thing for a kid to go through. This was a school art project. I say on here that I'm thankful for my teacher, which is exactly, like, that is how you know I was teacher's pet, because I really didn't need to do that. But I was like, mm, maybe I'll get a little extra love from the teacher if I give her a little shout out on my art project. That is manipulation, and the fact that I was manipulating that young personally worries me. Oh my God. I don't know where my dad and I got this because neither of us wanted to eat it. It just like sat on our kitchen counter for literally six months and then we started pranking each other with it. So like I'd put it under his pillow, he would put it on the back of the toilet seat. You know, goofy shit like that. There's this thing called needle felting where basically you take wool yarn almost and you poke it with a needle over and over again and then it starts to stick together and create a, like a little stuffed animal. And so my mom and I got super into this for probably a month and then we never did it again. I actually made this little bunny and honestly, super cute. But I remember the process of creating these little things. It was so time consuming and you'd accidentally poke yourself in the hand with a needle and it was like, it was really, it, it could get potentially frustrating which is why I quit making them. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> authentic Hello Kitty earring. Literally, I could go on Depop and sell this for like $80 now. I won't, they're kind of, they're kind of, they're kind of good. <laughs> 
Wait, there's no way there's a fucking Blockbuster coupon in here. Valid from May 1st to June 15th, 2004. What the fuck? Also, why is this in my room? In 2004, I was three years old. Like, this wouldn't have been of use to me. I don't think I knew how to use a coupon when I was that age. No. <laughs> uh-uh. Not the fucking Victoria's Secret pink sweet and flirty body mist. <laughs> that actually smells fucking terrible. Oh my god, it literally, it just made me get like a minor eyebrow headache. Yeah, that's pretty awful. I thought I was such a baddie, I would wear these to my little middle school dances. I thought that like, really truly boys were gonna finally like me if I wore these. It might have been repelling them. It reminds me of things I just don't want to think about ever again. You know? This is like the type of thing I would beg my parents to buy me. I would be like, you guys, no, you guys don't get it. This is like going to change my life. And then they'd be like, no, it won't. So like for most kids, you know, they like play with a toy for a week and then they get bored of it. Like for me, I probably was carrying this thing around for like six months and like never got sick of it. And that's what, that's why I'm different from other kids and I'm not like other kids. Stop it. If these earrings ever come back, which just, I feel like they will because everything comes back. Like I already have a sash. I have every color. I have a hard time believing that these were ever really actually cute. Oh no. This is like all I knew how to paint. So I just have like all these, <laughs> all these paintings of these weird triangle characters. Like, couldn't I have done like a square? Creature? Like, why did they all have to be triangles? I don't understand. It's fine, but... Oh. <laughs> Was I trying to design clothes? I don't know how old I was when I drew this. Based on the handwriting, I must have been like 14. If I were to show this to somebody who sews clothes, they would be like, babe, there's nothing there. You didn't give us anything. If you want this money, you can have it. Thank you for writing. I do know how to make fairy homes if you want me to. I can. And since you are a, since you are a fairy, can I grant some wishes? Please write Dak. Listen, like I, I, need, I need to explain a little bit. I used to be obsessed with fairies and I thought that fairies were real and I wanted to be a fairy and I wanted to meet fairies and so I'd make fairy houses in my backyard and, you know, things like that so that fairies could move in and I'd write them little letters and that was that situation. Um, hi fairy, I'm not a very good seller. But just writing to say hello. From Emma to fairy, please write back, please. I mean, no. All about me. Name, Emma Chamberlain. Hair color, caramel. Come on, what does that even mean? Occupations, cello and needle felting. I played the cello, no. Listen, this is complete bullshit. I played the cello for literally six months in middle school and on this all about me school project, I decided that it would be appropriate to say that my occupation was playing cello as if I knew anything about the cello. Like I took orchestra class in middle school, but I didn't actually like know how to play the cello. Like I didn't know what is going on. What is that? I didn't know how to play the cello. I was like faking it. Like when we would do performances for our families and stuff, like I would just pretend like I was playing the cello. I wasn't even actually playing it. Needle felting on the other hand, I mean, I showed you earlier, like I was definitely doing that, you know, for like a month. Favorite food, pasta, true. Favorite band. <laughs> The Shins and the Beatles. Okay. Favorite book, Dear Dumb Diary. Wait, I wonder if I can find that. This was my absolute favorite book. It was so edgy. It's like journal entries. I mean, they're not real. Fake journal entries from this girl and they're all funny. And I, I mean, this book was genuinely, this book shaped who I am today. No. <gasps> oh my God. This might seem insignificant to some, but these tank tops, with the built-in training bra, my God. When I bought one of these, I was like, yes, I am a woman. 
maybe that maybe I'm losing my mind you know stuff like this it is like an artifact like it should go in a museum and like this tiny little iPhone 4 case I mean like this stuff deserves to go in a museum like this stuff is rare I sewed this myself like cute like it's cute I had this phase where I would just wear old navy fleece pajamas everywhere. I would wear them to the mall. I would wear them to the grocery store. I would have worn them to school if it wasn't against dress code. You can get away with it when you're 11, but when you're older, it's just not good anymore. Um, oh my god, should I use it? This is literally 10 years old. How does it still work? Am I, do I need to call poison control? I probably shouldn't have used that. These were all the rage. All the girlies would be fighting each other over who had the most flavors of these EOS lip balms. It was like not good for the, for the community. Like people, and like they were like selling out at stores. Everybody was fighting over these. It was really, it really caused some violence, these things. I mean, you can just tell that these haven't been touched in, you know, 12 years. Like they just, you can tell. They just have that look. Like, you know when you go into your grandma's nail polish drawer and you pull out a nail polish and it just looks like this because it's just been sitting there untouched for 10 years. Longer, 20 years, fuck it. What else is in here? I mean, it's like, I swear to God, it's never ending. You guys! Ow, fuck, I just stepped on an outlet. I just found a good ass hat. Wait, this is cute! I hated hats growing up, so like this one just got shoved in that drawer over there. This is such a good, this is such a good hat. I feel like I just won the lottery. See, look, I'm, this is like productive. Me digging through my room is productive, I swear. I feel so bad for my parents because I used to make them take me to like those places where you can paint pottery all the time. Just for me to be this bad at painting pottery. Like I had zero artistic ability and I just feel bad for them. You know, the amount of money they spent and like this is what their daughter made, you know? And I mean, they're good sports, but it's just... <laughs> Look at my fancy little Easter dress. I even had a purse. Wait, what does an 11 year old keep in their purse? Let's find out. Tic Tacs that expire in 2010. Okay, so these, are, so definitely won't be eating these. Although part of me kind of wants to eat one and just see what, like what would happen. Yeah, I don't want to do that actually. Everybody's mom made their Halloween costumes for them growing up. I feel like this was one of my moms. It's honestly fucking great. I was the corpse bride and it's like this white dress that has dirt all over it, fraying, you know, lace and stuff. She killed it. This is gorge. I wish I could say that like I was some sort of visionary as like a six year old when it came to painting. It's just not the case. It's just not the case. Not everybody is built like that. So I love when I find journals. Jackpot. Oh, this was my high school diary. My teacher won't let me run for student council. YOLO. What? My birthday was so fun. I'm 15, yay! It's finals week and I don't even know where to start. My stomach is feeling pretty good right now so hopefully it stays this way. No, babe, IBS doesn't go away. I'm so stressed about college, I just don't even know how to prepare myself. I really want to go to a good medical school. <laughs> I just wrote the best essay of my life. I'm really excited about it. I'm also worried about my math test because my teacher was, hasn't graded it yet. I need all my grades to stay at A's before finals. I'm nervous. Shut up! I'm so excited for summer. It's going to be awesome. I'm going on amazing vacations and I'm going to take a bunch of amazing pictures. Instagram has controlled my life since I was 15. I'm trying to find a college to buy a sweatshirt for, but I'm really struggling. It doesn't matter if you buy a sweatshirt for a college, you're not going. I'm not excited to be a sophomore though because sophomore year seems boring, but I'll make it lit af. Oh my God, I'm starting to get into when I was a, when I first started my YouTube channel. I'm passionately in love with making videos, but I don't have much footage. This summer, I'm going to make a lot of videos. And I did. Lately, I've been having really bad mood swings, and the other day, I was I wanna find more diaries. I love diaries. No.
That I shouldn't have drawn that on my on my childhood toy. I'll leave a little smiley face on it for when I find it again in like five years. Instead of a wiener. Fine, I'll put a small, small wiener on there. Wait, this is actually so cute. I feel like I could sell this online for a lot of money. I don't know why I keep thinking about different ways that I can sell my old things on Depop. Authentic vintage sheep bag mini purse made in, in 2001 vintage, $90. I absolutely cannot deal with the with the duct tape era. What were we all doing? We were putting duct tape on everything. People were making outfits out of duct tape and wearing it in public. What? Why? There was like this certain era. It was like 2008 through like 2013 where like everybody was making the weirdest decisions. People were obsessed with duct tape. People were like obsessed with mustaches. I can't be the only one that remembers that. People were wearing jeggings. Like there was so much chaos. This, oh my God. This is the most beautiful children's jacket I have <laughs> ever seen. Up until right now, I was like, Yes, I want to have kids when I'm older, but I wasn't like excited about it. I literally want to get pregnant right now. Who bought this for me? Who, who the, this is a work of art. Tootin Puddle, best children's Christmas book that exists and I don't, and I don't want to hear it. Emma, but what about the night before Christmas? Actually, shut up. Are you kidding me? On Christmas Eve, I will whip this book out and read it just because I deserve it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read it now because that's not how that works. Like you have to read Christmas books only on Christmas Eve, and that's also again a rule that I have, and I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't think parents should let their children read Christmas books on any night of the year except for Christmas Eve. Why? Because it that makes it special. And I don't wanna fight you guys about this. 